All right, my friend, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, let's take a quick look at the upsells and the downsells feature in Kajabi. So this is a relatively recent addition to the platform where when you're selling an offer after they check out, um, they can have multiple upsells. So they used to only have one available upsell and they also introduced downsells. So let's quickly get into this. Uh, first of all, this is one of my core offers that I offer in my email funnel. So this is my uh, flagship course that's discounted at a 40% rate and they get a bundle of courses as well. And so after they purchase this course or this bundle of courses, I should say, they have a couple of options here. Um, so the first upsell, like right after they check out and pay for the main purchase, the 297, then they're immediately taken to my first upsell offer, which is my, my membership community. And I offer this at, a, at my annual rate of 270 per year. And if they sign up for this, then they are subscribed to my membership, right? And I make it super clear what they're getting and uh, I make it as attractive as possible. Now, let's say they take me up on this, which is awesome. Um, then they're gonna be taken to my additional upsell. So I can have another upsell right after that, which is my expressive string arranging course. Again, it's about 50% off or actually a bit higher than that. So again, it's kind of a no brainer and it's similar. It's related to the niche that we're in. And so if they want my full training, they can get that as well. But if they decline the first upsell offer, then they're gonna be taken to my downsell, which is my love theme system. It's cheaper, um, it's more of a no-brainer than the 270, and so they can decide they can grab that if they want. And it's kind of an exclusive mini course that I don't share anywhere else. Now, let's say they took the, up, the first upsell, so now they're led to the expressive string arranging upsell. And if they decide to buy this as well, then they're taken immediately to their product. You also have the option of adding a third upsell or a fourth upsell if you want to, but I think two upsells is, is kind of the sweet spot. So after the second upsell, then they're taken to their product library. But if they decline, then I take them to my second downsell offer, which is the piano skills course. So it's a piano course for composers. And then they can uh, take that if they want to. But the main thing here is that you have the flexibility of leading them uh, down a path basically, right? So depending on what they choose, uh, you can kind of get a sense of what they're interested in and then offer them the products accordingly. So again, I offer them my membership because it's a perfect follow-up to my flagship course. If they want the community, if they want accountability, then they can sign up for my membership and they can ask questions along the way, get coaching, etc. If they don't want that and they just wanna get straight to their product, then I wanna give them a final offer that's super cheap, it's 50 bucks and it's a love theme system course. If they do want my membership, then I want to give them like they're they're more likely in a buying mood, right? So I want to give them additional offer that's more of my best training at a discount. So there's my string arranging course. And if they want that, then they're taken to their product offering that they purchased. Um, if they don't want it, then they're taken to my piano skills course. And again, if they don't want that, then um, I take them directly to the product. So there's a uh, it's kind of like a maze, right? It's like choose your own adventure, but at least you're offering at least one upsell to them uh, or two, two additional offers, I should say. So one upsell, one downsell. If they decline both, fine, they can go straight to their product, but at least you're offering more of your best stuff. And this these, these should be products that are at least somewhat related to the initial purchase, right? So these products are all kind of related to the bundle that I'm offering here that they're purchasing. So um, they should at least want the product at least um, maybe, maybe they don't have the means to buy it, but at least they're aware of it. And they know that, uh, on these pages, they're at a discounted offer. So if they want the best deal, they can take advantage of it right there. Just to really quickly show you what this actually looks like though, the upsell itself, um, they give you the option to put in the title, uh, right here. So I'm selling it at 50% off. I could have a subtitle to say like, oh, grab str uh, expressive string arranging for only 97 today. Right. And then here's the 50% discount offer. I describe it. And then I have an upsell video, which is super short. It's like one minute long. And then there's a purchase button text. I want to make sure that video auto plays because most likely they're not going to press play on the video. They just want to, they just want to get to the product, right? And then here's the cancel button text. No, thanks. Just take me to my purchase. So if I want, if I want to preview that, let's see if that's possible. There we go. Thank you so much for your, yeah. So here's the video that's playing. And then here is the heading. Here's the subheading. And I show them it's 50% uh, off. And then here's the description right underneath. So a very, very simple upsell page. You could definitely uh, desire, I guess, more tweakability options, but I think keeping it simple is usually better. And that's how I personally prefer to work myself. So hopefully that kind of makes sense, but you can see the power and the flexibility of having multiple upsells and then downsells if they refuse the upsell offer. You just want to make it an even more of a no-brainer for them. And again, every upsell and every downsell should be 
uh, related to your core offer in some way. So that's really, really important if you want to maximize your funnel conversions, right? So anyway, that's the idea. And if you kind of like the way this works, if you want to uh, try Kajabi for yourself, then I want to give you that extended 30 day free trial. You can use my link below ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi. And in addition to that extended 30 day trial compared to their 14 day free trial on their website, I also want to give you my uh, two bonus mini courses, absolutely free Kajabi in 30 days and uh, content marketing for creatives, which goes over how to use Kajabi really quickly during your trial and how my business model basically works where I can put content into the world for free, but then monetize it as well in the back end. Um, it is an affiliate link. So if you become a paying member of Kajabi after the free trial, then part of your payment will support me, which I greatly appreciate. Of course, there's no obligation, but just so you know, you can grab, grab that extended trial if you want to uh, use my link below, ChristopherCU.com slash Kajabi. Anyway, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you again, and I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.